Hello, I'm Aos, and welcome back to Dredge. Things look a little different, huh? <laughs> I went ahead and I got the DLC for this. So, there's going to be something new for us to go explore, in addition to everything else. Because I was having way too much fun. I, I, I mean, okay, I, I like a little tiny bit of the spooky. Oh, that was so loud. <laughs> Uh, I do, I like a little bit of the spooky, and this, this game was constantly on my mind, and I was like, you know what, if I'm enjoying it this much, I'm, I'm going to get the DLC, I'm going to look into the whole thing of it. What did we leave off doing? Um, if I remember right, we have no clear goal, which is places to explore, which is weird. I, I, I love that there's a story here and all that, but I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. And yes, I had my camera in the wrong place last time, I didn't realise that, I'm so sorry. But up here in the corner is the money and, and all this. Much easier to see everything on that side. Oh! This is cool. I didn't see any of this before. Maybe I just wasn't looking. And there's that aberration bonus again. What is that? Uh, oh, sustainable fishing is complete. 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks from catching a fish. Oh, that's awesome. So, 10% chance to keep on fishing a place. That's great. Uh, it's six in the morning. What is our current task? Oh, one flounder and one eel. We already turned in one of them. So let's leave. There we go. Let's start fishing. Yes. And we are going to go get ourselves an eel. I haven't seen those. Yes, I have. They're right here. Yes? Maybe? Tip tap. There we go. I think so. There's no green. How do I do this one? Oh. I'm sorry. It's It's been a couple days. Uh-oh. Oh, the trophy goes away if you miss. Oh, what is that? That is not right. Okay. Pursuit added. What are we pursuing? Bob deal. Spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. How do you know that? Do we keep going? I mean, it's only medium stock. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, there we go. Yeah, everything's fine. Oh, what, what did we get? What, what was our pursuit? Show the fishmonger. Caught a strange looking fish. Never seen anything like it in all my years. It died as soon as it was pulled from the water. But its scales are still pulsing with a strange rhythm. I don't want to handle it anymore. Have a headache and ears are ringing slightly. Maybe the fishmonger at Greater Merrill will know more. Oh! So this is... The fish is affecting him. Oh, Lovecraftian, yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, should we go? Well, let's go turn that in. <laughs> That's a task. And we got our, uh, our eel as well, so hopefully we know something afterwards. New direction. Although I do want to check around that way. I want to get around the other, the back side of the island and see what's all going on up back there. Fishmugger! Uh, have you got any fish in that order? Hmm. Yes! Here we go. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Mm. Ooh, 55. That's not bad. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. Mm. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. I want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. I don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Mm. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Ah, uh, no, 
this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. My wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. Did it eat a parasite? Is that... I mean... He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. And we got some money for it, too. Got some good money for that. Sorry, it's behind the camera. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing. And I'll pay you for the fish, too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts. So I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. Uh, sell the fish. Thank you. Handkerchief. What do we do with handkerchief? I don't know. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, we're done. Oh. Okay. Uh, a man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. Alright. Hi, shadow man. Ah, I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know we extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Okay, cool. Uh, it's still daytime, should we go meet him? I mean, I haven't really done enough to... Where's my light still on? There we go. Lights off. Uh, you know what? We're going to go straight there. We got some decent speed at least. So good to upgrade. I need to find a way to get these parts and stuff so we can upgrade. Like the actual upgrades. Because we need to supply them according to them. And then money as well. Right now we've got uh, 200. Maybe we can buy something else. I'll look into that in a little bit. Uh, this... Is this it? I mean, this is south. That's all I was following, so... Oh, well, there's something here, at least. Ruined mansion? Okay. I want to go to the workshop. Um, progression. Oh, hi there. The man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. Oh, yeah, it's got a central eye thing. Uh, is that one of yours, Zan? All right, all right, hey, never mind. His books are much more uh, decorated. Well, they are. Uh, anyway. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasure and truths and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. Cool. I don't know, something seems... Uh, anyway. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That is where you come in. Really? 
Is that the offer? Why does the bookmark look like a little hand? My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? Well, the game is called Dredge. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. That was good. How can you be my shipwright most of the time here? Because that was fast. Uh, the relics we are looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. Okay. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Can I not return now? What is it? Uh, where should I look for the relics? Yeah. Ask around the towns of Mario so someone knows something. No, sorry, I just wanted to know. Okay, what's in the workshop? Hasn't been used in decades. Gonna stop me? No? You enter, taking a moment to let your eyes adjust to the dim light. You find some horrifying creations among the Detroitists. Sign of ruin. Uh huh. One hour, aberration bonus, 5%. A symbol of the deep is carved into this small talisman. It's sure to draw the attention of those attuned to it. Really? Okay. This is a heart. A tree. A tree null of engine. The bony blades of this grotesque engine are driven by a pulsing a heart. It beats in time with your own. Okay. Uh, we don't have another engine slot. Uh, seven knots, huh? You can return to these items later. Okay. You know what? I've got an empty spot right here. We're going to put it right here. There we go. And we'll come back for the heart. Uh, it is afternoon, late. Search for relics. Oh! Key in the Marrows, Music Box, Gale Cliffs, Ring in Stellar Basin, Necklace and Twisted Strand, and the Watch in Devil's Spine. Okay, check out shipwrecks and the like would be a good place to start. You mentioned that the locals might be able to point me to some. Okay. Oh, and the Pale Reach is here! That's nothing. Okay. <laughs> Uh, exit. Cool. Okay. I thought I saw something. Never mind. Oh, what is this? Also, we, we still need fish. Yes. Thank you. Uh, stock is low. Should be able to get one more without going overboard, so to speak. <laughs> and depleted. Never mind. Or it just got late. Oh, it got really late. Oh! So he gave us the ability to upgrade stuff. Oh, I hate this. Oh, oh, turn it on. Not lights are on. Everything's good. What is that? What is that glow there? Uh, you know what? Uh, I have to change lanes. Okay, avoid gaps. Okay. Okay. 
Worn gold ring. Gold always holds its value. That, that is true. It's also a very rare substance. Sorry. Uh, is there a ship? Hi! I guess I'm not the only one out night fishing. I, I thought we were the only fishermen, but I guess I was wrong. Two arrow squid, one black grouper. Oh, so this is one we want, right? I think it's one we want. One, two, oops. One, two. One, two. Why did that one give me so much trouble? You're a bad fish. Actually, you're probably a good fish, but. Whoa, what was that in front of my screen? Or just the tree. <laughs> uh, you should be squid, right? Yeah. Oh, look at the teeth. Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellow crooked teeth. The top row are flattened like human molars. Someone turn into a fish? Huh. It's still just a fishing sim. Everything's fine. Okay, the eye looks really wild. <laughs> oh! Oh! You're not supposed to be there. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't turn off my light. Oh, and we have a lot of people to talk to. You know what? Give me a moment, guys. I it's very late. Let's let's go take care of this. Yes, I got all the fish, I believe. Yeah, leave uh, leave the fish. We're good here. You know what? I'm tempted to to give him this. <laughs> yeah, this one's a bigger fish. 92! That's nice! Hmm. Uh, I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. Hmm. I've got one here for you, in fact. It's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed up by the ship, right? Oh, it's still got a little bit of use to it. Two days, right? Yeah. Sure, thank you! Ability to unlock crab pots. Deploy a crab pot. Don't forget where you put it. Been there, done that. <laughs> I was just, uh, I was really young. It's my dad's crab pot. And we couldn't find it for a day. We got some decent crab out of it. Uh, where was I? No, this is brand new. It should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out to sea anywhere. Come back after a day or two to check on it. Oh, I've got a customer after I feed that crab and a common crab. Both the species can be found around here. Hmm. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Uh, what is that noise? Oh, that gave me weird chills for some reason. Uh... More crab pots. Hundred dollars. We'll see how it works first, and then we'll go on from there. Sell all fish. Does he want the weird fish? Okay. Okay. Uh. Right. So, what was this thing we got? One gold ring. Storage locker. I have no reason to hold it on. Hold on to it. <laughs> hold it on. My brain is shifting all these words, and they shouldn't be shifting. I really want that eye <laughs> to stop looking at me. <laughs> all right, lighthouse keeper. Uh, I forgot the voice I gave her. Yes. Uh, what is it? Uh, you. Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. Mm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Merrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. 
some lights you can see here. A natural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. What? Uh, have you heard of any strange things happening? I haven't talked to you on purpose yet. You weren't an option before. I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. And sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds the lantern up so that it shines brightly onto your face. Mm. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is it just another of the fog's tricks? Your mind fog? Or fog fog? Mm. Who lives on Blackstone Isle? I see a lot up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat and return. I chose to look the other way. What? I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Okay. Did I skip a chapter or something? What went on there? What? Uh, builder, who are you? Are you going to build me something? Do I get a house to upgrade? Do I get fishing bonuses and stuff like that? Or You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? Um, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. Moving along. Uh... It's not so bad here. She's gazing at the sea again, lost in thought. Say, so if you can find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber, two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'll be welcome to visit too. Yeah. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have everything. Have anything? Have anything. I'll pay, I'll pay you when the job's done. Okay, so we're going to get paid for this. That's great. Uh, we're going to sleep because it is way late and... Okay, the eye went away. We're all good. Uh, right. So we're going to get paid for that job. That's nice. Uh, we've got no scrap right now. Uh, I can't do your voice. It didn't sound good to begin with, and I, I just don't know. But so she says it looks like some of your equipment could be uh, could use some fixing. We can repair that here. That is great. I did hear about that. How do I... Oh, right here. Barrel equipment. Seven bucks. Well, it was a hundred for a brand new one, so that's a good deal. Well, it's a brand new day. Let's go get some. All oh, right, and the crab pot thing. Money. I was gonna say, get some money. Uh, you know what? Let's go over here. So, it, while it's raining, does that mean that uh, there's different fish, or is it just ambience? How do I go like that? Crab pot. Plenty, three feet, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, right click. Cool. I, I guess we just wait. Uh, where do I want to go? What do I want to do? What's our current goal? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Lightning striking the ocean. I'm sure we're perfectly safe. <laughs> Wasn't there a gold thing this way? I mean, I kind of want to see it about that plume because I, I think that's where it's directing us to go. But there was something gold. Oh, is that scrap there too? So much to look at, so much to do now. Dredge. Dredge, dredge, dredge. I like this one. 
Oh, we've got a board, and that is a big board. We can keep going. Whoop, why did I do that? I don't know. Oh, this is going to be a fantastic little Tetris puzzle, isn't it? Uh, depleted. Well, either it comes back and it's a natural resource, or we're actually fishing scrap out of the ocean. Either way, I think it's okay. The fish, not so much. But scrap, yeah. It's noon. I guess we need to be a little bit faster. Yeah, there is a gold thing here. And more scrap? Uh, we should have plenty of time to do all this. Uh, that is a chain. It's an iron chain. I, I don't know. I, hopefully it's longer than a few links like that. Because shapes in the water. Or shapes in the deep. Excuse me. I was already focused on the puzzles. <laughs> a bronze belt buckle. Engraved, but almost every detail is entirely worn away. Why was it glowing? Is that what... It's not what we need, is it? It's probably a key item or something. Ooh, hey, metal! Bonk, bonk. <sighs> this is relaxing. This is nice. And... Despite my voice cracking a little bit there, it is nice to risk my voice and not have to do other voices constantly. <laughs> oh, it got dark. Oh, it got dark. Okay. Oh, is that more? It is, it's, it's very late, but this is right here. Oh, what's that noise? Okay. Can we move anything? No, we're gonna have to come back. Okay. Does he only fish at night? You know what? If it wasn't so late, I'd go say hi, but I gotta be careful because if it gets to be too late. Oh yeah, that stuff happens. Oh, what are the eyes? What are the eyes? Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, there's another fisherman. Why are they out at night? Okay. Grieving father. You know what? It's fine. We're docked. Everything's fine. Bright lights, right? Uh, Is that him talking? I, I, okay, he says, hello. Is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see. My only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere. In one of those wrecks. All alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rank his body. I was wondering. I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed in your vessel. Yeah, made a very, uh, kind of demonic deal, and, uh, I'm all set. It only took, like, an hour. It was really good. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think he'd feel more at peace if his memento's with me. Well, okay. Uh, he wore a bronze belt buckle, especially engraved. I recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'll be in your debt. Give the belt. Yeah, we already got that. It was glowing right outside the. I mean, he was right there. You give the belt buckle to the man. And this is. Oh, this is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned it to me. Please take this. Not any money to pay you, but this. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah. Research part. But this might hold some value to you. Thank you. Strange occurrences. Do you know anything about them? Like, how did you miss your son on literally the other side of the island? Uh, I suppose, on one way or another, the wreck went down. 
He had no equipment to get the things back. It just really sad. I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. Is that our mayor? What? What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing the things into the sea. Throw it back! He would cry over and over, begging anyone who listened, howling it into the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? I'm gonna go. <laughs> you, you, you have a nice time. Hey, I've got a piece of jewelry. Do you want it? Soul trinkets. Yes. Trinket soul. This is not trinket. To to cargo. Oh, middle button. Middle button. Middle button. Yeah, yeah, that's how it, folks. Middle mouse button. I wasn't using. Oh, one click. So, I had something else I picked up. Oh, right, the chain. I've, you bought the chain? Take it. All right, great. Uh, painter. This wasn't here before. Was this part of the DLC? Okay. Cool, so boat customization. <sighs> Fun. It is very late. Uh, do we have anything at night time we need to do? No. Alright. So, I think yeah, we got a lot of stuff we need to go drop off. What is that? It's a high stock. Is that what they oh, what happens to tell me they've restocked? Oh, grotesque mackerel. Um, I forgot I was going someplace because I don't have any space. Items left here will be lost. Okay, give me a moment. Okay. <laughs> Tetris, thank you. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go drop all that stuff off. Oh, and there's fish things around our, our crab pot too. We don't have any room. We'll drop things off and we'll collect. It's a nice day. Cool. Uh. First off, let's do that research real quick. Ooh, new rods. Oceanic. Ooh, I kind of do want the oceanic thing. Because those are really big fish. Alright, we're going to research the hydraulic rod. There we go. Okay, fishmonger. 23 for that. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell by just looking for the... Oh! So, based on what you're saying then, sometimes you can uh, you can even tell just by looking from the surface. That glow meant that there was an aberration there? Huh. Okay. Why do I want them? <laughs> I mean, obviously the, the paints and stuff. I'm sure that's going to come up later, though. Uh, we got a new book, right. Rods, reels, and rigs. We've got a lot to do. Right. First off, let's get our crab. Don't want those customers to be crabby. Okay, that is, that is a weak little crab. Buying that new 
What? Oh, sorry, I was just trying to get to your thing. She pulls a book from the toolbox nearby and hands it to you. A few of the pages are stuck together with grease. Cool, we got another book for some reason. I I just thought we were going right into it, so I didn't realize that we had more to, to say here. Can we move? Can we... Okay, uninstall it then. And we're going to install it over here. We're going to install it over here. Okay, that's not nearly as long as I would have thought. We're going to tear... No, we're not. 400. Ooh. Okay, well, we're only 100 off. That is a day of fishing. Let's go out and fish. Many-eyed mackerel. They're, oh, oh. Goop plates dotted with eyeballs. Spriff. <laughs> All I see right through you. Okay. Oh, what is that? Riddled flounder? Riddled with holes, baggy skin perforated with countless cavities. Oh! A singular shapeless mass spreads underneath. Oh! Uh, we'll wait till tomorrow to get the crabs again to see if... Okay. Huh. okay. It's very late. Let's go sleep. So, to round up the episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go find out what that plume is and we'll get our crabs on the way back here. Light off. Light on, light off. Light off. It's daytime. Was that? What's with the, the stuff in the wind? The little blue-green wind things. Ooh, more stuff. More... Fabric, it looks like. There we go. Shapes in the deep. Ooh. I love it and I hate it. Fish, right? Was it just fish? Those are eels. Oh, that is not just a fish. Look at that. Okay. That's fantastic, terrifying, and wonderful at the same time. And it's just bones down into the depths. Okay, where the heck is that plume of, of light coming from, then? Because it should be... There's there's the lighthouse, right? So it should be back this way. Why are you sparkling? i got to watch the time, so I'm, I'm being careful. Uh, inspect, please. A pile of loose debris. Clearly, clearing this would take some strong explosives. Oh, we need explosives? Okay. Um, we should make our way back. We're out a little ways. What is that? Uh, no, wrong, wrong thing. Oh, that looks like a key. 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna go do that. Oh, there's a ship right there. That's so cool. Oh, and there's a shark. Relic discovered. That is a huge key. What are you unlocking? What kind of gate needs that kind of key? Uh, is this fine? It's fine. We'll move it. Maybe. An abnormally large and heavy key cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. Oh. It's just a key. I'm fascinated by it and loving it. It's wonderful. And do we have enough time for this? I think we have enough time. I want to get at least one of these. I, I got the oceanic thing. Bronze whaler. Well, you are a nice fishy. Completed. Okay. Sorry. I guess that they're big fish. There's only one of them. No, can we make it back in time? <laughs> no, the answer is no. <laughs> oh, why are you, you shake? Why are you shimmering, shaking, whatever? You know what? I'm not going to go back and investigate. Already passed it. Ooh, but you, I have not passed yet. Is that a cave? Ah, no, that's fine. All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Yeah, look inside. Ooh, goodies. Uh, you can return to these items later. Thank you for putting that on there. We are taking you. Citrine ring. Is there anything I can do to... I don't think I can get the other board right now. But we can get this stuff. And we can come back. We can come back to the board. We've got two spots, right? We've got two spots. Yeah, there's not, not enough free space. Oh, no, 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 wrong button, wrong button. Lights on. Oh, is the fog thicker? Why is the fog thicker? Yeah, okay, I see aberration will be there. Uh, I said we check on the crab thing, but we will, we will check on that in just a, a bit. Okay. Cool. And then we should be able to put this here. Yeah. And I've got enough. Two extra engine spaces. Wonderful. We can pick up the heart while we deliver the key. Uh, that's not fabric. That's fabric. What is that? Hear that noise? The deep rumble? I love that. And we're just going to have a nice little snooze. There we go. Resting till dawn. Wonderful! <laughs> Alright. Uh, I am going to leave today's episode of Dredge right there. We've got a key. We're going to go deliver it first thing in the next episode and... I don't know. We'll figure out how to get to the DLC. I mean, I clearly have it there. I just haven't seen how to get there yet. So, thank you all for joining me. And until next time, uh, hopefully any fishing you do isn't filled with grotesque abominations. And have fun, everyone. <laughs>